Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to install Anna 4.4 KitKat or 4.4.2 KitKat on any uh, Android device. So, what I'm going to talk about here is that uh, make sure your device has the custom ROM available. Okay, so of course, if you own a Nexus device like Nexus 4, uh, Nexus 5, Nexus 7, you can just uh, install the KitKat here uh, by just going here into settings and going into about phone and you can install it uh, by the software update. So, uh, okay, so on, of course, this is the easiest method for, you know, updating your device and that's how you get Nexus uh, and a 4.4 uh, KitKat version on a Nexus device. So, of course, if you own another device like I have, Galaxy S2, uh, you need to root your device. First of all, you need to root. You need to root your device. Once you have rooted your device, you have the root access. Then you have to install a custom recovery. Okay, and once you have installed the custom recovery, now you can flash any kind of ROM. So, uh, so in order to install. Android 4.4 KitKat on any Android device. First of all, you need to have a latest version of CWM. If you use any other recovery, you you must have the latest version in order to install uh, install the KitKat. So, uh, the latest version of the CWM recovery is 6.0.45, I think. So 4.4.5. So, uh, you need to install the latest recovery then you'll be able to install KitKat on your Android device. So if you own like a Galaxy S2, make sure your device have a Android 4.4 or 4.4.2 ROM available. Like for example, I have a Galaxy S2. I have ton of KitKat ROMs available. Actually not ton of, but uh, 3 to 5, 6 ROMs available for the Galaxy S2. Right now I'm using CM11 based Soundfox ROM. You can check out my review. So, uh, if you have a device that has a KitKat ROM available, what you need to do is you need to download the, the zip file of the ROM, then place anywhere on your device, internal memory card, internal internal uh, memory or uh, external memory, you can place the zip file anywhere on your device, then you need to go to the recovery uh, by, uh, you know, by holding the uh, power, uh, volume up and the power power button at the same time and the home button for the Galaxy S2 if you have Galaxy S2 if you have any different device just go into the recovery select your uh, zip file that you want to install and hit power button and click install now it will gonna install your uh, in install the KitKat on your device and also uh, what you need to do before installing must have a uh, latest version of the uh, recovery and also the second thing you must do a full full factory reset before installing a KitKat ROM then if you don't you will get some big issues maybe you will get you will end up uh, doing a hard heartbreak you know heartbreak will get uh, your device very 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 troubled you know soft break can be sought out but you know heartbreak is another thing to discuss so you need to you need to have a, a latest recovery a custom ROM available, then you can install it uh, like you install any other normal ROM. You know, just go into recovery, do a factory reset, flash it, and then flash the G apps if available, and then just use the ROM. So in this way, you can install KitKat on any device. But of course, if there's no KitKat ROM available for for your device then I'm afraid you can't install it you can't install it so if you have a device like Galaxy S2 like Samsung Galaxy Nexus or some other device uh, you can have a KitKat but if you own a device like LG Optimus 4X HD I'm not sure about that device have a 4.4 KitKat you can install you can't install the ROM on that device because there's no KitKat ROM available for that device so make sure the ROM is available download the correct uh, ROM file only download the ROM file that is available for your device don't for, uh, don't install any other uh, ROM for the other device like you know if you have a Galaxy S2 you install a KitKat ROM of you know like Galaxy S3 it, it will you know <laughs> totally totally gonna collapse your device so make sure you have the correct version of the KitKat so 
yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and hope this video helps you out for installing KitKat on your device. And if you have any questions, then feel free to comment down below. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out, and also subscribe and like this video.